Is the high pass filter in Affinity Photo broken? I have no idea, but it definitely works differently compared to Photoshop. Here we have the exact same image loaded in both applications. Affinity Photo on the left and Photoshop on the right. Let me zoom both of them to 100%. As you can see, both are the same size. I have applied a high pass filter on both of them with a 12 pixel radius. As you can clearly see, the Photoshop version is much stronger. When I apply the high pass layer in overlay blend mode to sharpen the image in Affinity Photo and repeat the same steps in Photoshop, we can clearly see that the Photoshop version is much sharper. Let me zoom in both of them so we can see it more clearly. Notice how the eye and the teeth area is much crispier in Photoshop. Let's reset the zoom and revert back to normal blend mode and see how we can fix the high pass in Affinity or in other words, make it work like Photoshop. The solution is quite simple, but let's first have a look at the histogram in Photoshop. I will add a curves adjustment in Affinity Photo to view the histogram. As you might notice, the histogram is much narrower in Affinity. When I put the Photoshop histogram on top of it, we can clearly see the difference. So to get the same high pass effect in Affinity, we just need to tighten the curve. So it gets spread out more, just like the Photoshop version. Let me add another curves adjustment to check the histogram again. If I put the Photoshop histogram on top of it, have a look at that. They are the same and the end result is the same too. I can now adjust the radius of the high pass in Affinity to 4 pixels and do the same in Photoshop. As you see, we get the same result. Awesome! If I turn off the curves adjustment in Affinity, notice the difference. And this, my friends, is how you fix the high pass in Affinity. Let me crank up the high pass radius in both of them for demonstration purposes. I will apply the high pass layer in Photoshop in overlay blend mode to get that sharpening effect. Let's do the same in Affinity. Normally, I would change the blend mode of the high pass filter, but as we want the result of the high pass plus the curves adjustment, I will need to group them first and then apply the overlay blend mode to the group. This way, the fixed high pass will be applied to sharpen the image. If we compare the images, you can see now that they have the same amount of sharpening. Pretty awesome! I will do a follow-up video where I will share some other creative use cases of the high pass filter. If you're new to my channel and don't want to miss that video, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks again for watching and until the next video.